Hello everybody, this is Carmen Paulina Aleman and welcome back to my channel called Renaissance Muse. It's called Renaissance Muse because I love that period in history and I feel like a modern day Renaissance woman. I love um, dabbling in different types of creative things, hence the name Muse. So um, today I wanted to uh, show you guys how I fold my money. And that kind of sounds weird to fold your money. So when I was younger, um, my aunt taught me, it's kind of like origami, I guess, because I, uh, she took a, well, she taught me how to um, like take your money and then just uh, fold it up into this little tiny little square. And so I remember when she taught me that, I was like, that's so cool. And so I would always, it would fit like perfectly in like my little piggy bank. And so ever since I was a kid, I think she taught me when I was like, eight or nine i mean i was really young today i still like folded up really tiny and i i don't have a piggy bank now um but i can still like you know i have a jar and it'll give you an idea on on saving your money like this and it'll be more compact okay so first thing you do is you take um any dollar bill um amount that you want to fold up i have a 10 here so i'm gonna use this one and so what i do first is i fold it like this I fold it and it doesn't matter what way so if you want to fold it this way or if you want to fold it um from the back like that doesn't matter it's just you fold it this way for sure okay cool. all right so after you fold it like that then you open it up well, you make make sure you fold it because you for sure need the this line here so after you do that you open it up and then you do this you fold one corner all the way to the other corner like this. Okay. <laughs> this still has a lot of like little folds. Okay, then you open it up and then you do the other side. Oop. but make sure it's like nice. It has to be, it can't like, there you go. It can't like go over, does that make sense? It has to be in within the dollar bill. And you have to make these lines like nice and um, de defined so that you can, cause you're gonna go off of them. So then after that, to the side again, the other side, okay cool. Now you open it and see how like it folds you're gonna fold this in you're gonna fold it in like this do you see how i did that so like it was this fold and this fold and then you're gonna take the two and you're gonna do that and like fold them inward like that okay cool so after you're done with that side whoop, we're gonna do the other side, okay? So now remember this. Oops. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, okay, there you go. Oop. Nice and defined line. I always say like my nail, I don't have much of a nail, but like I always do that to really like make those lines defined so that it's easier to fold when I have the other line. Okay, then I do this to the next. Making sure that the, the bill doesn't go over. It has to be nice and aligned with the other does that make sense so the bill it's not like you're holding it like this do you see that and see how like it no it can't go over you got to make sure it's nice and um within the dollar bill yeah okay i'm so bad at this this is so funny like i hope this makes sense to you guys okay cool so now see how these lines are defined? I, and I like push these in and it's like it makes a triangle. 
Okay, so it makes a triangle like this. Oops. And it's really important that like you're very precise with like the, so see I'm a little crooked here, but it's okay. But just very precise with um, the folding because it could mess up the, the little square at the end. Okay, cool. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this one and you're gonna fold it, but to the, to the middle. So. And again, defined lines, very, very defined. Is that a word? Am I using the right word? Yeah, defined. Okay. So then you're gonna do it with the other side. So you're gonna do in the middle. So here, see how there's this middle line here? You're gonna line it up, line it up to that. So these lines are there. Now you're going to put this little triangle part, this little, the top part, and you are going to do that. So you're just bringing it down. So this little top part, you're just bringing it down all the way down. Do you see that? I'll try it with this one too. And I apologize, I can't believe my light was off, so maybe this is a little clearer, because it's a little dark. So you're gonna fold this to the middle, right here, remember, very precise. And then you're gonna fold this right here. Okay, so see they're both to the middle, this little edge part in the middle. Okay, and then you're gonna, this top part here, you're gonna bring down. So all of these little like points are gonna meet. Okay. There you go. Okay, perfect. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. See, they're all meeting here. Okay. All right. So now that these are like that, you're going to take this part, this flap here, and you're going to fold it back. Just like that. So you're folding this little flap, folding it back. Again, with your really precise defined lines. Now I'm going to do the same for the other side, the other flap. So you have this flap here, you're going to go back. There you go. I'm sorry for the beeping sound of my microwave. I just... I got hungry and I heated up some leftovers that my mom made. Okay. Okay, cool. So then, okay, cool. <laughs> now we're going back to this part, okay? This is kind of like the tricky part, so really like focus on this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold one side and then the other side, okay? So see how I folded that? So we'll go back again. So you're right here. You just finished putting these flaps backwards. You're gonna, and it doesn't matter where you go. You can do this way or you can do it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way. Folding one side and then you're gonna fold the other one. Okay, now the tricky part is you have to insert this into this part. 
So see how these little parts, this is the insert. You're gonna insert one. And you could lift this one here. And then you're gonna insert the other one in here too. So, so insert. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. So you insert this, and then you insert the other corner into the into the other corner. So one corner to into the other corner. And I think it's not fitting because this might be a little taller. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna do it like this. So one side is in, and the other side, hopefully, you have to slip it in. <laughs> it's so weird, it doesn't want to insert. There it is. Wait. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, here it is. Okay. Finally, it went in. Okay, so I had to insert it. Now, it's a perfect little square. There you go. I'm sorry if my desk is all drawn on from my, my daughter's artwork. So, that's how I did that. And so what I do is I, um, this isn't the jar. It's my pencil jar, but it's just an example. Um, I just take the jar. Oops. Lights are off. Okay. I have my jar here and then I just take my little and then there's my piggy bank. So there it is, my little square. And so this is what I do with my money when I save my money. I put them in like little squares like that. And it's very compact because I also can put them in my purse like that in my wallet. And you're like, well, how can you tell which ones are the ones, the fives, the tens, you know? It's like, it just depends on, you have to remember like, oh, this is for sure the five or this is the 10 or if you forget, then you just unfold it. So to unfold it, you just open this little tab. And then you unfold everything. So you just go backwards on the things. You don't want to rip up your <laughs> your money. And there you go. There is your unfolded money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell for more videos. And thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.